Hi y'all, get excited for Nikki Plan's newest release, a digital journal. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to import and use this journal. When you purchase the journal from my shop, you'll be linked to this hyperlinked PDF. Click on the link, click yes, and you'll be linked to Google Drive. Click on the option, the PDF or the .gonotes file that you want to download. You'll download this by clicking on the three dots to the right and you'll click open in. Wait for that to export. Once it exports, a share sheet will open. You can locate the GoodNotes app icon, or you can click the text that says open in GoodNotes. After GoodNotes opens, you'll be prompted to open the file that you're importing. Open this file as a new document, choose the destination, and then click import to whatever the destination is called. One point of order in GoodNotes 6, to use the hyperlinks, you're gonna wanna have the toolbar in view mode and not edit mode. The difference being, view mode will not have a blue toolbar at the top and edit mode will have a blue toolbar at the top so just click the pen tool to toggle between the two different modes to get the blue toolbar to go away and then you'll be able to click all the hyperlinks within your pdf and navigate the journal that way the bullet journal is based on a traveler's notebook system, so basically a collection of individual notebooks within a notebook cover. So the index page consists of 15 different custom notebooks for you to utilize within the journal. Each custom notebook is divided into one dashboard, shown here, and four different linked subsections shown here. The linked subsections are linked on the dashboard page, but they're also linked on the index page as these little rectangles underneath the space to write the notebook title. Clicking any of the four subsection links will take you to a white square grid double page spread that will also have its own set of hyperlinks that are located on the middle spine binding of the journal. As seen here, when clicking the shortcut links within the middle spine, you can navigate to any of the subsections or dashboard within the singular custom notebook you are working within. If you navigate back to the index, we can go to the template gallery and click on the sticker hyperlink. This journal comes with 45 included stickers for you to be creative and use in your journal. They're all kind of realistic paper themed. If you did download the PDF, these sticker pages will be blank and you're supposed to import the PNG files onto these pages. This journal comes with a white blank page template and a classic bullet journal dot grid template. aligned template and my favorite a square grid template which is utilized on most of the page templates in this journal if those are too boring for you head on over to the page gallery at a glance you can see all of the extra templates available in the journal for you to copy and paste and utilize elsewhere in the journal and so we have all these beautiful colors and we have four positions of the journal on the page for you to like pick from. The classic options are also hyperlinked on this at a glance spread as well. Now we're just going to flip through each of the available page templates. So we have the half page, tilted page, other half page, and we have the red coloring of the pages. And now we have the black coloring of the pages and the green coloring of the pages.
and the tan coloring of the pages. And this is the brown coloring of the pages. The light blue. And the lavender. And finally, the navy. I do have two extra page templates unlinked at the back. We have this half journal page and this full desk blank page, which has a hidden link to the index in the top left. All these icons on the index page are actually all hyperlinked to be kind of like quick shortcuts to all the page templates available in the journal. Okay, y'all, we're reaching the end of the video, and I wanted to end with some inspiration for you all. These are just clips from my own journal. And I did also want to mention that even though it's a landscape journal, I frequently use this journal in portrait mode. You just do this by pinching in and zooming in on the page until it fills the screen when you're in portrait orientation with your iPad. It's really simple. It's still going to cut off parts of the page, but honestly, so much fun to just zoom in on like the page that you want to focus on for the day. Okay, y'all, that is the journal. Comment any questions you might have and I will answer them and keep a lookout on my YouTube page. Subscribe to look out for my future videos using this journal to plan December. Yay!